All right, everybody. Today we are going to take a quick look at my personal gaming room and set up what all I use on my PC, all the little things that I've done to set it up and make it my own. So we're going to start. I got a green screen here behind me with the light. Yeah, I found lighting works good if I remove the cover and only one light bulb. That other light bulb works. It's just unscrewed partway. Then also see if I can flip the screen here maybe not okay whatever can't flip the screen down here on the ground I have some other backdrop lighting that works in really well then off to my right this is actually a part of my old desk that works perfectly for setting stuff on if I have a drink or something Right now it's got my oculus on it not hooked up unfortunately i haven't done much vr lately then if i keep spinning around here a little further let's just look at this overall this i built this desk myself this is actually a three by four chunk of butcher block it makes a great very sturdy inch and a quarter thick top wonderful under it four by fours one by fours obviously around is the kicker and then over on the side here this is a shelf i built to put my tower on sits perfectly and this is actually the bottom of this is all can't really show it on camera it's all dark and stuff down here under this is actually all open so it can breathe there actually isn't a board that goes all the way through through the uh the shelf the case just sits on its edges around it so that's pretty cool took a little time on that then we spin the other way i got my mic this is a blue yeti nothing special mic with a cheap amazon boom uh, springless boom that was very important to not having background noise then pop filter pop filter pretty standard cheap chinese stuff um we have a stream deck the little stream deck nothing too crazy i didn't want to get too far gone um i would recommend the bigger one for anybody looking for a stream deck though <laughs> I have filled this thing with so many file pages now, it's ridiculous. <laughs> then we have got three monitors, a Samsung 32 inch curved 4K uh, Ultra HD gaming monitor. We have got a Spectre 24 inch, uh, just a 1080p, nothing too crazy monitor. This is what I run my OBS on when I'm streaming. Um, nothing too wild and crazy setup going with it just because it's only running obs and then this is a 22 inch just a old 720p acer monitor i picked up at a garage sale for a couple bucks this literally just does like discord or maybe i have a internet web page pulled up on it while i'm streaming it, it, it's got almost nothing it does almost nothing so it's cheap easy then on my desktop i have an xbox controller i don't use it much it sits here i have a wire hooked up for it in case i ever want to use it i am running a pair of turtle beach stealth 450 usb wireless it's actually a whole wireless headset and then i just unplug the mic out of it because it actually is a good pair of headphones without the mic then my mouse this bad boy right here it's a razor lance head tournament edition um typically uh probably your run-of-the-mill average mouse nothing too crazy just two buttons on either side i don't need all those fancy buttons i can never figure it out but i got this on sale uh about a year ago for 20 bucks so i couldn't argue with that and then my keyboard here is a i don't even know how to say the word 
Sonosa Chroma Razor keyboard. Um, really, only reason I got it, and it's not even set up like that now, is because I can program each of those little lights individually. I had it looking like the American flag, but, you know, <laughs> it's not right now. And that was the only reason I bought it. So it's sad that the only reason I bought this was to set it up like the American flag, and it's not even set up that way. Then, my computer specs. Let's see if I can pull them up on a monitor here. An easy way. So. CPU. We are running an AMD Ryzen 7 3700X. Um, it's boosted a little bit, so we're getting about... Or, yeah. We're getting about 4.1, 4.2 gigahertz out of it where I got it set up. Uh, memory, I'm running 32 gigs of Corsair Vengeance. Uh, hard drive space. I've got a Samsung uh, 870 Evo SSD and 500 gigabytes. Uh, just a Western Digital uh, 2 terabyte HDD, just a blue drive. That is literally all file storage for uh, videos, pictures, stuff like that. Then I also have a Samsung uh, 970 Evo Plus. That is an M.2 drive. That's also a 500 gigabyte drive. That is strictly just a boot drive. That's all it is. Then for a GPU right now, we're running a GeForce RTX 2070 Super. Um, yeah, right now they're a couple grand I see them selling for. Ridiculous. Do not pay that if you're looking to get a setup like this. Absolutely ridiculous. I think I paid 700 bucks for it uh, a year ago. Don't pay stupid shortage prices for stuff. Absolutely insane. Don't do that. The power supply in the thing is a pretty generic whatever I could find on Amazon that was still an 80 plus gold thousand watt uh, power supply. The case is a Musetex. Um... It's a full case. It's got six LED fans on it that actually are programmed to dance to music and stuff. Don't know why. Because um, actually, to be honest with you, when the fans are kicking, it creates noise and it dances to itself. What else? The board in this guy is a uh, Asus um, 570. Let me get the exact one here. It's a tough X570 Wi-Fi and the only reason I went with the Wi-Fi board is not for Wi-Fi purposes I know crazy right um, I am hardlined I have the Wi-Fi version of the board so I can Bluetooth that was one thing I wanted to have was Bluetooth capability so if you're looking to build you're not necessarily wanting Wi-Fi but you need Bluetooth get the Wi-Fi board makes things so much easier otherwise you got to get a bluetooth card and all sorts of other shit you don't want to mess with so that is a basic rundown of my setup this is a the green screen actually is a photography backdrop i picked up on i think i paid 10 bucks on ebay so pretty standard stuff my monitor mount is ridiculous um I'll tell anybody that's going to want to run three monitors, do not get my setup. It was expensive. It's a pain in the ass. Do not do it. It took me forever to find one to set it up this way. It was expensive. It, the, the mount was probably 300 bucks. Don't do it this way. Don't. Don't. Get a double monitor mount and just leave your third monitor on, a stand, on its factory stand off to the side. And as for my setup, that is about everything I use. Um, I use streaming software wise. I always use OBS with a Stream Elements plugin installed. I don't use Streamlabs for my streaming. Uh, obviously, streaming on Facebook. I do use Streamlabs for merch and donations just because their merch and donations is set up really user friendly. That's nice. Uh, other softwares I use all the time GIMP. It is a free version ish of photoshop i use that um video editing i pay for wondershare filmora um 
pretty user friendly, pretty cheap, nothing too wild and crazy. Uh, great way to start video editing and you can get into some pretty advanced stuff too. Uh, audio editing, I just have uh, cheap Audacity. You can download that shit for free. You can do all kinds of fancy, cool, funny stuff with it. I use it to make my audio bites on my stream deck. Um, sometimes I Darth Vader a song with it, Chipmunks a song with it, uh, speed up, slow down, uh, rebase music. Just simple, easy, easy to use. And as for as far as software goes, the only other thing I really use, I use voice mod because that allows my stream deck to play through my microphone. So whoever's in an Xbox party or Discord chat or game chat, if I push a button on my stream deck for a sound bite, they hear it as well. That's pretty cool. It holds all my audio bytes I do through voice mod and stream deck. So it's pretty nice. Um, as far as major softwares, that's it. Um, I do use the Razer uh, software to change my lighting and stuff. Um, I use the Asus software for the board to do tweaking and stuff there. I use the NVIDIA and GeForce stuff to do tweaking to the graphics card. Um, what else? I use Ryzen software to tweak my CPU a little bit. That's how we're getting that 4.2 gigahertz out of it right now it's not maxed out i really rather not run it at max um yeah so that's my setup that's kind of my room uh the room is a lot bigger behind the curtain is a stack of old miscellaneous electronics there's a table with a printer on it back there um there's some subwoofers and amp ripped out of my car uh there's a logitech wheel and uh pedals back there there's a uh, thrust master joystick and rudder pedals back there all the electronics that i have that i don't use typically are just sitting back here behind this curtain in a nice messy pile and then of course i have the tote that every grown person should have is that tote of miscellaneous cables that you don't want to throw away because one day you might need it <laughs> so that's my setup. Uh, if you have any questions, throw it down in the comments below. I'm always happy to answer questions, comments, concerns, suggestions. Um, yeah. So until next time, peace out.